Comics, where horror lies. What's up, body bags? My name is Austin. Um, I am a brand new um, fill-in reviewer for the channel. I'll be filling in for the Sinister one today. Um, just want to send a special shout out to my brother, who's the Saturday reviewer for the channel, um, Andrew, um, for kind of getting me involved in this, uh, the channel, because this this has been a channel I've watched for a very long time. It's one of the first correlated YouTube channels I've ever watched, and it's just so cool to be a part of now. And um, big shout out to Derek um, for, um, of course, letting me in. So, um, yep, that's about it for the introduction. Um, the film I'll, reviewing, I'll, be, I'll be reviewing today for a week 194, and that is uh, Sam Raimi's uh, Drag Me to Hell. I believe this is from, what, 2009, I want to say? Yeah, 2009. Um, basically, um, it's about this main character, Christine. Um, she has this job. She's really working hard to get a promotion in. Um, she has a, a boyfriend who's trying to advance her relationship with, um, played by Justin Long, but from, uh, um, of course, um, Jeepers Creepers. Um, but, uh, yeah, she uh, gets this visit from this um, old woman, a really creepy hooking woman, um, at her job, and um, the lady asks, you know, for help for her house. She doesn't want her, her house getting taken away. Um, it's been her family, blah, blah, blah. But uh, anyways, Christine turns her down. The old woman puts a, ends up putting a curse on uh, Christine, which then plays out the rest of the movie. This demon is trying to... Um, it's, just, it's just completely ruining her life for the rest of the film. And it's the rest of the film, just her trying to get rid of this demon in many different sorts of ways. Um, yeah, um, this is one of... Sam Raimi's most polarizing films, because I've heard a lot of people say they didn't really care for this one. Um, that um, I don't share that opinion, man. Um, I think this movie is fun as hell. Um, it actually has some pretty damn creepy parts in it. I won't spoil anything, of course, but uh, yeah, super, super fun uh, parts, especially in the kind of exorcism scene towards the end. Uh, there's a goat involved in everything. It's pretty freaking funny. Um, and uh, this film's notably um, known for uh, being really, really gross. And it is. I mean, there's some really, really disgusting parts in this. Uh, all of them basically coming from the old woman. I mean, stuff's always falling out of her mouth, <laughs> into Christine's mouth. It's disgusting. It's just... Uh, but... Um, <coughs> Sorry, just got done recording a three-hour podcast. Sorry if my voice is cracking a little bit. But, um, yeah, uh, this film is just pure, pure entertainment, man. I love this film. Um, one of my favorite Sam Raimi's, to be honest, man. I could not recommend this film anymore. Um, like I said, uh, this is for me, this is your typical Sam Raimi film. Um, very much like The Evil Dead, of course, with blending horror and comedy, more like, I don't know, it's about, more like Evil Dead 2, I guess, but not as over-the-top ridiculous as Evil Dead 2, but still some really, really memorable parts in this film. So, um, if I were to rate this, I'd probably give it, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, to be honest. I can, I'd watch this film a lot. Um, it's one of my go-to horror films. Uh, just... Such a great, such so well executed. Such a great story, fun as all hell. Um, yeah, I can't. I never get people to say they don't like this film, but oh, whatever. Um, yep. So that's it for this review. Uh, don't know when I'll see you guys next time. Um, who knows? So uh, I guess just stay tuned for the rest of the week, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.